Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn. We were recently talking about new features to the array command. Rectangular, polar arrays have been around for a while, but wait, there's something more. Well, there is. We've always had rectangular and polar arrays. Of course, now those can be associative arrays. But on top of that, Autodesk introduced a new type of array called a path array. So now you can array objects along a path, and that path can be literally any kind of object, a line, a circle, an arc, or a spline. Whoa, I gotta see this one. Show Let me, me show you how this works. The path array tool enables you to make copies of selected objects and arrange those copies evenly distributed along a path or a portion of a path. Here we see a walkway drawn using a spline. I've also placed a tree at the starting point of the path. What I'd like to do is to place a series of trees distributed along the side of the entire walkway. I'll use the Path Array tool to do this. The Path Array tool is located in the Modify panel of the Home ribbon. If I expand the Array Split button, I can see that there are actually three different Array tools. When I start the Path Array tool, the program prompts me to select objects. I can select the objects I want to array using any convenient object selection method. Once I'm done selecting objects, I'll right-click. Next, the program prompts me to select the path curve. I'll click to select the spline representing one side of the walkway. As soon as I do, I can see in the command window that the program shows me that I'm creating a path array and that the array will be associative. It's important to check this because the program will remember what you did the last time you created any type of array. By default, AutoCAD creates associative arrays. The program is prompting me to enter the number of items along the path, or I can choose one of the other options. In this case, I'll simply click to select the end of the path. Next, the program asks me to specify the distance between items along the path, and by default the objects will be divided evenly along the path. I'll press Enter to accept this default. As soon as I do, I can see 14 trees distributed equally along the length of the path, and the program prompts me to press Enter to accept the array, or I can change it by selecting any of the other options.